I want to start uh, uh, my presentation about um, uh, how um, about our institute, uh, what kind of services uh, we provide, and uh, what kind of fields uh, we are active. And uh, then I want to uh, go on the historical perspective and tell you the story about uh, my work with dolphins and the dolphin assisted therapy and how I developed uh, my, my, my method uh, in the several places I worked uh, during the past 20 years. Um, the main field that uh, um, uh, I'm focusing or we are focusing in our work is the dolphin assisted therapy. Um, uh, this uh, treatment um, is uh, suitable for uh, several uh, um, indications. It's not limited to, to um, people with disabilities. Uh, we have also uh, clients uh, who suffer um, from psychological di um, illnesses uh, such as depression, um, or um, anxiety syndromes, uh, eating disorders, um, but um, we have also um, clients uh, who want to improve their um, communication and their um, um, co-living inside the family or parents uh, who uh, book this as a family therapy to improve their relationship to their children or to provide uh, the family with a special experience um, to strengthen the bonds inside the family. So it's not limited uh, to people with, a, uh, with, a, with some kind of diagnosis, but it's also open to people who uh, want to use this as an opportunity to develop um, themselves or to work, <coughs> to work out some, some issues on themselves. Um, the, um, there is a, 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 a not a, a distinct <coughs> um, limit uh, between what is therapy. Uh, in the theory, yes, there is a definition. What is animal assisted therapy? What is animal uh, um, accompanied uh, activity and so on, but uh, um, looked at it from a practical point of view, uh, we invite anyone to this uh, program who, um, want, who, who um, sees a, this as an opportunity to improve um, uh, oneself's life or, 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 or um, health. Um, uh, as well as in the mental, uh, as well as in the physical way, uh, <coughs> on a physical level. Um, there is, um, yeah, um, we also offer the Swim with a Dolphin program in Antalya. It's also part of our responsibility at this Dolphinarium. Um, um, and uh, the, the, the style of how we uh, offer the Swim with a Dolphin program is very much inspired from dolphin assisted therapy. So, um, in uh, several, in all these places in the world uh, where dolphins, uh, Swimming with a Dolphin program is offered, um, the way of how this program is offered differs uh, quite a bit. Yeah? Um, they call it the structured swim program or unstructured swim program. There are different professional uh, terms of the method, uh, how you provide this service to the uh, customer. Um, in many places, uh, the swim program the, the s is a uh, uh, completely structured uh, program. It's more a show than a than, uh, uh, experienced uh, uh, based um, interaction program. So uh, the customer um, uh, goes uh, through several behaviors together with the dolphin. He gets um, um, instructions um, what he can do in this moment. Okay, you can pet, now you can take a turn with the dolphin, you smile, it's a photo, it's 
usually the five minute, ten minute swim is a structured swim that's offered at the Dolphinarium. That's uh, 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 not our philosophy and it's also not our business. Um, the, dolphins, the swim with a dolphin program that we offer is, um, as I said, uh, inspired by the therapy and um, it is an unstructured, uh, open uh, program that um, is um, accompanied by a dolphin therapist. So he don't call himself a therapist in that program, it's an instructor. Instructor or therapist depends on, on, on the type of program. And, but it's the same person with the same level of education. So um, in, the, in the swim program there is the instructor and uh, he will or she will supervise uh, the client, the, the customer, about the swim. He give, uh, she gives uh, an instruction about what to be uh, careful about the animal and, uh, and how to, yeah, what, what uh, they uh, uh, will expect during the swim, what will be done, what will be part of the program. And, uh, and then um, the, the swim will be carried out in a very similar way uh, as the therapy, as we carry out the therapy. So it's interaction based, it should be very authentic, uh, there should be uh, um, room and time and, uh, and, uh, for uh, the customer to explore the dolphin uh, in his way and uh, it's uh, and the instructor instructor will uh, support the the client um, as much as needed but uh, he will also not um, um, press him into some kind of procedure so um, this uh, is uh, as i think also quite unique swim with the dolphin program um, because um, yeah, usually it is uh, very structured and um, uh, it's comparable maybe with a swim with a dolphin program with wild dolphins. So, um, but with the advantage that uh, when you uh, uh, meet the dolphin at the, at the aquarium, at the dolphin land, then you have a reliable interaction in comparison to a wild interaction where it's always based on the probability whether the dolphin appears or not and whether the dolphin is willing to cooperate or not. So um, this program is quite successful also, especially in winter time. Uh, we have a lot of customers coming over and um, they book for example a weekend in Antalya and uh, they do one or two swims. And so the <coughs> Swim with the Dolphin program uh, is uh, not the standard set of five units, uh, five sessions as we do the dolphin therapy. Dolphin therapy is five sessions or six sessions or ten sessions or fifteen sessions um, as a package. Uh, the swim with a dolphin program is there is uh, not a restriction on the number of sessions. It can be one, two, three, whatever the customer uh, wants. Um, and um, also, in some cases, um, um, uh, we uh, do special arrangements where we do this combination of swim with, with dolphin and with uh, a seminar, for example. Yeah? Um, then it depends on the program. Um, what uh, uh, the, um, the, the person who leads the, or carry out the seminar uh, um, wants to include into the program. Then you can also do maybe 20 minutes swim, for example. Uh, it the standard uh, unit is 30 minutes, but in some cases, especially when it's not uh, uh, included uh, therapy or for uh, the, some kind of disorder, but it is as part of the experience, uh, dolphin experience part of a seminar, for example, then, uh, and if it's a group booking, then we uh, also, we do 20 minutes, for example, which of course reduces the price, because we can include more people in the same time. Um, so, the, 
um, so this uh, business um, with the seminars um, uh, is um, either our own business um, then we have this uh, dolphin, we call it the dolphin coaching uh, dolphin coaching means that it's not just a swim program, but it's also not a therapy. Uh, so a swim program is just recreational, it's fun, it's experience, mm -hmm. and the therapy is, yeah, as the term says, it should be uh, directed towards uh, people who have some kind of diagnosis, yeah? uh, who come here to find an improvement in their illness. Um, the dolphin coaching is a program that um, directed to people who want to um, achieve um, something for their life, private life or professional life, um, by uh, the combination of uh, dolphin experience and coaching or a training. Yeah? And um, the dolphin. I, I, my person, I have a, a degree also in mediation and coaching. So when I have clients like this, I personally accompany them. Um, sometimes we have, we had in the past, it's not so often, but sometimes we had in the past, uh, individuals who came here uh, to Dolphinland and they wanted to gain uh, inspiration uh, by the Dolphin experience and then uh, work out this um, or, or utilize this inspiration with uh, um, a coach yeah? and uh, so then we, uh, we uh, or it's maybe a group two or three person who work together in a team for example that was also the case in the past then uh, we can uh, have them swim together with the dolphins and then we can for example um, work out some dynamics between them uh, which also um, immediately projects into the situation with the dolphins and I used also video analysis in this coaching process so we I take them and then I, I um, uh, immediately saw some process between them going on, which is of course not a new uh, thing, it's something that they already know or something that they play with each other uh, all the time, or maybe what they are suffering from uh, in their coexistence and then uh, we can work this out on the video and we can discuss and we can, we can uh, explicit um, uh, dynamic that are going on in this group uh, that um, manifests in the dolphin uh, situation uh, and unfolds in the dolphin situation uh, uh, very um, uh, yeah, quickly and uh, obvious. So that's great fun uh, to do that. Um, and um, yeah, so that includes maybe three swims. Yeah. So that's a program that, that's useful to do three, two, three swims, four swims. Not usually the time budget doesn't allow more, and it's also not needed to do uh, more um, uh, in one in one set. Um, yeah, uh, this is the these are the programs that we carry out at the Dolphinarium. Um, uh, I also. Um, um, offer um, through our institute, through our website and travel agency also uh, swimming uh, and not swimming so much but a dolphin experience program with wild dolphins um, and the uh, uh, Azores on the Azor Islands. Um, you uh, uh, were there, no? not yeah. through us, but uh, you, you, you've been to the place. Uh, yes, so the, 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 the name of the island is Pico. Ah, okay, 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 yes. okay. okay. Yeah, we do it in another island, um, uh, San Miguel. Uh, we work with a company uh, based there and uh, we send the clients there and uh, they uh, are taken care of by this uh, company there. And sometimes also we combine this with a, a, with a workshop. Um, a guy uh, who I started uh, the, uh, my work with the dolphins in the very beginning, uh, uh, he, I still uh, work with him sometimes. 
uh, eight guys his name from England, and for example, he he because he prefers to work with white dolphins, and um, for him it's also for his work it's not so important that you uh, play with the dolphins or you touch the dolphins. It's more about the experience of meeting the dolphins. Uh, at sea, uh, in their natural habitat, and with all the emotions included into this uh, experience of uh, seeing the dolphins and being near the dolphins in the world. So he's working with these emotions in his uh, workshop, and uh, we do this in the, in, on the Azor, Azores, um, um, the dolphin dream time workshop. So, uh, there's a variety of different um, dolphin-related experiences that uh, we are covering uh, uh, with our institute and travel agency. So pretty much all the needs uh, are met. Yeah, then is the part of our education that you are now uh, also part of. Um, uh, I'm uh, also giving lectures in not. This is uh, my own uh, uh, educational uh, program that uh, I uh, share with you, what you're part of right now. But I'm also teaching sometimes in other places. Um, I uh, was uh, um, in so for three years a uh, faculty member of the university in Barcelona and uh, as a lecturer. And I taught. Um, mm -hmm. I was responsible for the lectures on dolphin assisted therapy. This is a master program on animal assisted therapy um, that uh, happen, happened uh, there uh, on the Institute for Physical Education. Um, they shut it down uh, last year, unfortunately, um, because Spain is um, yeah, out of money. And uh, so the institute had to, yeah, uh, uh, reduce uh, their um, portfolio, and the master study. The master on uh, animal assisted therapy is uh, 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 unfortunately uh, shut down. Uh, that's uh, why I also lost my job there. Uh, but uh, not so important because of mm, job money, or, but it was very nice, uh, very nice uh, environment and uh, very nice uh, university and uh, very um, nourishing academic um, environment for me, also in the exchange with other um, scholars and um, lecturers who work there. Um, who came from several countries uh, to teach in this uh, master. Um, I uh, um, try to involve uh, myself uh, uh, also in, um, in other ways uh, in, as, as, uh, yeah, as an institute uh, to be part of networks and um, uh, a strong partner for the past 10 years was also the, the Sigmund Freud University in Vienna, um, uh, partly because um, I have uh, a strong link to uh, a lot of uh, um, professors and lecturers who are uh, in charge there and uh, who I know for a long time. And uh, some of my student colleagues became lecturers there and professors, they're now professors there. And um, there is always a close uh, relationship to this university. It is the first private university in Europe who, uh, which offered uh, the psychotherapy as an academic degree. So at this, uh, this university, uh, you probably know the Sigmund Freud University, have you heard about it? Yes. Uh -huh. uh, it's, uh, now they are spreading, uh, they have departments uh, or branches uh, in uh, Berlin, in, in Paris, uh, in, Paris uh, in uh, Kazan, in Russia. Um, so they, be they, they became now really big, it's like a chain. Yeah? Uh, um, and uh, very successful. And, um, the, their main or 
service, uh, the, the most important and famous uh, course is the master, it's bachelor and master degree in psychotherapy. And um, that's a breakthrough because um, psychotherapy suffered always uh, a lack of uh, um, um, a lack of unbinding, a lack of connection, a lack of link to the academic world. Yeah? Um, it was always a bit outside of the academic work, especially after the Second World War. That has to do with uh, fascism in, in Austria and in Germany, with the uh, diaspora of the founding fathers of psychotherapy, who were many of them were Jews. And um, okay, it's a long story, but uh, uh, it, uh, in these years of the Second, uh, of the, the Third Reich. Um, uh, the, all the founding fathers and were uh, excluded from the academic uh, world, or many of them, uh, and uh, it uh, took, yeah, somehow the return uh, never happened uh, in the same way as before, because psychology and psychotherapy developed in a very different way, and psychology was based at the universities as a, and uh, psychotherapy outside. Okay. Yes. And uh, against huge resistance, yeah, in uh, a quite fascist country like Austria, yeah, and, uh, the uh, professor uh, Britz uh, succeeded in founding the Sigmund Freud University in the 90s. He's a very um, important figure for Austrian psychotherapy. He also um, initiated the. Uh, uh, regulation psychotherapy, uh, the new law, but now it's not so new anymore, it's from 1995 or something, uh, where psychotherapy was put into a new law, uh, into a new regulation, uh, which was very modern for that time, for European uh, standards. And uh, he's also the founding father of the Sigmund Freud Union. And his great achievement is that he finally uh, uh, reintroduced psychotherapy into the academic world, and um, that's what the Sigmund Freud University stands for. And um, I was very lucky to, to, to be very close to some important people at that university, which uh, uh, opened the possibility that uh, students who are studying psychotherapy there, they can attend this course, and this course get accredited, so they get the uh, um, ECT points, for this course, and so all these hours get uh, accredited at, the, at their study. So, in this course, we don't have students from the Sigmund Freud Uni, but usually we have one or two, and uh, uh, who do this education as an extension of their studies of, uh, in psychotherapy. Or this is the new curriculum, uh, also now for the psychology uh, study, because they, they have a very successful psychology program. Uh, in Vienna, and also uh, the dolphin therapy course is also um, accredited as in the curriculum of the psychology uh, program at the Sigmund Freud. And um, so that's that's uh, very nice, and also gives this course uh, yeah. a little bit a academic um, polish, and, and 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 gives also more accreditation, of course, once this. University accredits this course. It's uh, a very uh, helpful for us or beneficial. Uh, once dolphin assisted therapy is not regulated, uh, uh, it's uh, not. Uh, there is no regulations. There is no standards. There is no uh, head organization. There is nothing. Yeah? Um, dolphin assisted therapy is uh, a term that we define. Yeah, uh, there are 10 institutes in the world who carry out this uh, work and uh, we define what is uh, dolphin therapy. And we don't have even a, a head organization, nothing. And uh, that's also a problem because uh, we don't get uh, so much accredited or not so much uh, acceptance from the uh, uh, academic community. Um, no, uh, so There's no lobby. Yeah, yeah, lobby, of course, no lobby, and, uh, and uh, also, um, uh, yeah, um, 
it's too small. It's too small. Uh, this industry, this this uh, discipline uh, is too small. It's uh, it's uh, not um, um, big enough uh, to uh, be recognized, or, or, or that there is a need to to to, to regulate it or include it into any regulations uh, regarding the animal, animal assisted therapy. Uh, so my effort uh, is to um, contribute to establishing more uh, of this uh, network and, um, and also to um, make contact to other centers who offer dolphin assisted therapy. And I would say that um, uh, there is a number of uh, institutes in the world um, where partly I am also in contact with, um, which are working uh, very sincere and uh, honestly dedicated and who offer uh, equal standards to uh, what's yeah, with each other. And, uh, and to, who are working also to a standard according to the uh, to the um, Delta Society, for example, uh, the, the American head, one of the American head organizations for animal assisted therapy. So um, once we are not a member of them, but uh, we uh, uh, um, some of these centers uh, that I will also introduce to you during this week. Uh, work um, perfectly according to these uh, standards. So, um, for me, it's also important to be in contact with other centers because I'm educating students in the field of dolphin assisted therapy, so I am creating human resource uh, in this uh, field and uh, uh, what they need also. Huh? And uh, especially with the uh, there's a German uh, Institute for Dolphin Assisted Therapy in Mamaris. Uh, they call themselves Omega Therapy, so it's fine. We are Alpha Therapy, they are Omega. Uh, mm -hmm. and, uh, um, so we are in close, quite close exchange with them. Uh, they are working quite similar as we work, and uh, they are uh, frequently employing. Um, uh, students that we educated. So we are in good relationship with them and it's also a very nice center and they have a little bit another uh, focus. Uh, they work with dolphins in a sea pan so uh, they have, can provide a more natural looking design and so they can address a little bit another kind of clients and so yeah. Okay, we are not we are competitors, but we are also friends. So that's that we have a nice relationship with them. I'm also in contact uh, with a very famous center in uh, the Curacao Islands. It's uh, the biggest center for dolphin assisted therapy in the world, and uh, I will during this week, of course, uh, show you a lot about this center and about how they work there and so on. And uh, I. Uh, got to know the manager of this center in uh, Düsseldorf uh, two years ago at the Reha Care, uh, this uh, big uh, fair for um, rehabilitation and, and therapy. And um, we, um, yeah, since then we know each other and we exchanged a little bit uh, our knowledge and, and so yeah, we are in contact with them as well. So. Um, from then, uh, there, some years ago, came the initiative to uh, establish a head organization, and uh, they were very initiative about it, but um, it never uh, constituted. Uh, one of the reasons is that we are spread out all over the world, this center, so it's very hard to costly and time consuming to meet uh, physically and uh, the other is also in the head that uh, um, everybody is going a little bit their own way and uh, there is not much also not much motivation uh, to um, communicate with the others uh, other centers so it's 
the motivation is low and and the and the cost and the effort would be very high uh, for at least uh, for one constitutional meeting. So that's why it's never happened. So somehow it's understandable. Yeah, um, I'm also a member of the EIM. So I'm, the EIM is a European association for uh, uh, aquariums and um, current aquatic mammals. Yeah. And um, uh, I'm kind of like the dolphin therapy guy there. So there's uh, uh, this is all the dolphinariums in the US and in Europe, even it says European, but it says actually <laughs> worldwide. Um, because the Americans, they don't have their own uh, association. Yeah, the Congress, uh, they have a yeah, yeah, no. American. I'm missing it because of this course. <laughs> yeah. Because of us. <laughs> yeah, usually I go there, I go to the meetings. Um, uh, look, uh, but I, have, I had to schedule this uh, course uh, before they announced uh, their uh, uh, meeting. and. Uh, and usually the meetings are in the second half of March. Mm -hmm. And that's why I put my course in the beginning of March so that I can go. <laughs> and then I see the mailing, the email, it's on the 8th. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, no. And Genoa, it's so near. You can <laughs> drive, you know, it's not uh, real modern in Sweden or. Uh, or some place far, actually we could have go there with our camper van, so it would be really nice, but not this time. And uh, the EIM uh, is, uh, the, in the EIM uh, all the, dolphin, <laughs> the aqua aquariums and dolphinariums uh, unite, and, uh, but also uh, scientists uh, who work in the field of marine mammal research and uh, it's also very dominated by uh, uh, veterinarians, um, even though they have their own meeting also and their own association, but they are also very active in these uh, associations. And, uh, and they are, the trainers are also active in this association. Even trainers have also uh, the, the IMATA, their Imata. own association, but they also... Uh, so this one is nice because Every profession uh, has their own uh, meetings mm -hmm. and their own associations. I, just the dolphin therapists don't have, but in this one, everybody comes together. And uh, and um, yes, as a, this uh, is uh, is is good for us because uh, also the community of dolphinariums they know about the existence of our institute and. Uh, so kind of um, we are integrated into this group, uh, which is, is quite nice, and um, it's uh, um, easy for us to access uh, also. Um, yeah, so there's the annual meeting is this year in Genoa, um, it's every year, every year someplace else. So you, you, you went there before, mm -hmm. to AIM? Yeah, so a lot of trainers go there too. Uh, as long as the park pays for it, mm. and <laughs> <coughs> it's a nice uh, 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 place uh, also to um, uh, give a lecture. For example, um, when uh, we do a new study on in the research, then it, it's possible to present the research there either to do a poster session, or to do a lecture, or to do a 10-minute presentation, or the main stage a presentation. Uh, I never did the main stage presentation, um, but uh, the, there was a presentation on dolphin-assisted therapy from the dolphin therapy group, uh, research group from Nuremberg, dolphin uh, They uh, uh, did a, a big study, a, a long-term dolphin-assisted therapy study, effect effectiveness study, and they presented at the AIM. Um, some years ago. Yeah, um, exchange with uh, therapy centers, uh, most of our clients, of course, are somewhere in at home in a continuous uh, um, care or is it, uh, where they go regularly to uh, a therapist. And uh, so we are in touch with a lot of therapists uh, in Germany, in Austria, in Switzerland. 
and um, sometimes they also send us some clients or if they're doing some special therapy we recommend them to our clients and um, also exchange with other animal assisted therapies like hypotherapy for example it's very nice uh, the exchange um, uh, we exchange each other with hypotherapists from Germany and uh, recommend them to our clients and they recommend to us and so there is uh, um, a nice exchange going on and um, yeah so um, because what we are offering it uh, it does not um, replace for example a hypotherapy hypotherapy is something that it's based it's, it's offered on a continuous basis it's uh, for in Germany and in Austria it's many many places offer it and it's locally accessible and the clients go there every week and, uh, and they benefit uh, from this continuity and what we do is like a, a short uh, term <coughs> intensive uh, uh, treatment that's kind of like a kickoff or a kickstarter for a, 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 a new step in development maybe or that shakes a little bit uh, the, the psychology of the client and initiates maybe a new process so we are absolutely no competition uh, mm -hmm. with uh, you know this, we are complementary yeah. uh, professions and we can uh, tremendously benefit from each other's and no, the clients can benefit uh, tremendously from the combination of these two. No? Maybe if somebody lives in Constantia, then he can go uh, once in the week or, twi or once in two weeks to dolphin therapy. But somebody from Germany uh, will not uh, be able to do that. And <clears throat> usually it's not what's happening. Uh, there's no program, no dolphin program in the world that it's... Uh, where they with a system on the continuous path. It's <coughs> always a short term intensive curriculum mm -hmm. for five days five days or ten days. Yeah. Um, there are uh, yeah, this is uh, other animal assisted therapies or for example hyperbaric uh, we, it's very, can be very beneficial uh, as a combination with dolphin assisted therapy. Um, uh, or um, yeah, yeah, it's hyperbaric, for example. There are some therapies that uh, fit very well to the dolphin therapy, so it makes sense to 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 ex exchange um, with them. Yeah, um, in the field of science and research, uh, I I've been. Um, a little bit active uh, in the past uh, 15 years. I, I put some uh, uh, of the projects uh, here. Um, um, during this week, uh, we will go get in touch with all these projects at some point. Um, it started out in 2005 with my own master uh, uh, thesis on dolphin assisted, uh, on effectiveness of dolphin assisted therapies. Um, in 2007, um, I uh, contributed uh, to a big uh, research project uh, uh, of the University of Southern Mississippi uh, with uh, um, the project was about um, yeah, science on dolphin personality. So it was a, a psychological study on dolphin psyche. Yeah, on the dolphin psychology, and uh, thank you, Chai, who uh, unfortunately uh, passed away last year, um, was the founder of this project. And uh, dolphinariums from all over the world uh, uh, um, uh, contributed uh, to this study by uh, assessing uh, the dolphins uh, at the play at the dolphinarium with a uh, specially designed personality scale. Um, from from this project, so 
the idea was to um, uh, establish a methodology uh, of uh, um, um, assessment uh, of dolphin uh, personality and also to um, um, est establish a concept of dolphin uh, uh, personality. Um, during this week, uh, I will make a presentation on this project and on the outcomes of this project. Um, so I did uh, data gathering uh, for this project. Uh, in 2007, I supervised the dissertation on, dof on, on, on uh, therapy, dolphin assisted therapy effectiveness. That was a, a study that, uh, based on my master thesis, it was a girl from the United States um, who um, took the results of my study and uh, she um, um, focused on. Um, the most uh, the most uh, significant um, results, and uh, she uh, formulated a hypothesis on these results, and uh, we tested this hypothesis with a very established uh, scale. So, my uh, thesis, master thesis, was uh, more methodological. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a methodological uh, uh, effort, uh, mainly methodological, and, uh, and to figure out uh, in which ways uh, dolphin assisted therapy establishes effects. And uh, uh, we, I could find out in some ways, it's, and for some type of patients, it's providing with this and this and this results and other type of patients it's more giving this and this results. And in this uh, dissertation we took these results and then we te tested them on, on, on a proper scale with a nice uh, population of 60, uh, 60 um, uh, clients. So. And we also published uh, this uh, study. Uh, it's uh, available uh, um, yeah, as an article. Uh, in 2007 and 2010, I supervised uh, several master uh, of uh, also of students of, uh, from the course who combined course with writing their uh, thesis <laughs> and some of them were not um, worth mentioning and, but one was very very uh, um, uh, exciting uh, for the science and I will present you this week and uh, it was about the behavior about the specific behavior, we discovered that the dolphins present specific behavior during dolphin assisted therapy. So what they are doing is not random, it's not... Horses too. Yeah. And uh, therapists know that, yes. but, uh, and we know, we knew of course, that's why we chose this uh, topic. But in this study we could actually prove and we established also a methodology, um, methodology to uh, study this phenomenon. And we studied uh, with this tool one dolphin, so one dolphin's behavior, but with a big population of clients, with 40 clients. Mm -hmm. And we could prove that this dolphin acts specifically depending on the client and on the client's needs even. So that um, is a, this is a study that we could also call a, a methodological study and uh, there is the tool but it never happened that uh, somebody else or that we could carry out a project with this tool with several dolphins and several clients. So this is something that I proposed also to Angelica uh, for Constantia, that maybe later when we are uh, when we have time, budget, yeah. and um, more clients, at least we have two dolphins there, 
Uh, and also depending on the dolphins, we will see how uh, much is their variety uh, with the clients. If, uh, because not all dolphins are the same. Yeah. Talking about the dolphin personality. Some dolphins uh, show very explicit behavior. Yeah? They are very um, uh, extroverted. Yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, some dolphins are not. Um, for example, the dolphins we work with in Antalya, they are very introverted. So they, everything they do is in, they do everything with eye contact and really with micro movements. And yeah. it's very difficult to, uh, um, to measure with um, behavioral ma values the specificness of their behavior. Yeah? So for scientific study, these dolphins, when you want to study this aspect, it's difficult with these animals. Um, uh, so I, I will see how dolphins in Constantia will be, if they will be more extroverted, if the variety of their behavior is more obvious so that we can measure behavior, because you, when you do it scientifically, you have to make categories of behavior and then you have to put two cameras, one on the dolphin and one on the whole pool, and then you have to count tens of seconds and you have to track it down on, on so many seconds of this behavior with this client and so uh, to, to get oh significances. So in Antalya it was not possible with these animals. They were too working very subtle. Yeah? So not all dolphins are the same, but it would be very interesting to, uh, to, to carry on with this kind of study. Because when we can prove this concept that dolphins have a very precise and very, very specific way of dealing with each client, so that what they are doing is personal and individual, uh, if we can prove this, not only for one dolphin, as we did in this study, but we can prove it for more different dolphins who are working in the course of dolphin assisted therapy, then uh, uh, it will uh, um, explain uh, this uh, kind of therapy in a much better way. And it will make it, uh, uh, the principle of dolphin assisted therapy much more visible. Un visible and understandable and reasonable. Yeah, yeah. So this is definitely on the, uh, on my list. You can prove what dolphins do in hippo. In, uh, exactly, uh, because we have no. The there are so many uh, effectiveness when studies you, already. When we know that there's an effect, but we still we need to prove the mechanism of the process. In the horse therapy, uh, uh, the, the therapy um, seems like a walk, horse walking. Yeah. But it's not a horse walking. Yes. <laughs> and if you can prove what the uh, uh, how the behavior is changed in in the session and how specific. It yes. Is. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And all my horses do the same. Yes. When the children are there, and, and uh, I work with my horses with children with disability, and uh, sometimes uh, parents are another uh, child who is okay and want to ride. Yes. Yes. And. Um, this child uh, like to and the horse are uh, a different uh, uh, behavior. Yes, it's like, like a different horse. Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. yes, yes. And uh, uh, to prove that in a scientific way, uh, it would be uh, groundbreaking. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think it's a very interesting topic. Mm -hmm. It should be pursued in animal assisted therapy. Also, I talk to uh, therapists who work with dogs, and dogs also have the cap uh, cap uh, cap uh, capacity to adjust their behavior depending on the person they uh, deal with. I was on a, on a camp with uh, children with cancer, and there uh, somebody comes with a, a dog, and we stay on the room and make uh, some therapy, and after that, the dogs. Jo uh, uh, have sometimes with the same children, but free. Yeah. And uh, the dog also have another behavior. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. I think the perception of the animals are different. Yeah, yeah. Because they know. Okay, they know when. I uh, I heard some. For example, you are in the water. You 
when you put your leopard squid, the dolphins cannot see. Okay? I heard because the dolphins see through you, something like that. Yeah. When you are when you are without neoprene suit. When you put the neoprene suit, they stop. They you cannot stop. So. I think I they can I look heard, through this. I, maybe. I think so. I, I think so. I, I heard think, because I it's all in the water. water. I heard about it. I, I think they, the sonar, no, the sonar can go through the, the sonar, neoprene. I think so also. No, it, it, it goes through the neoprene. So, but it has another density. I think so. so but the think frequency is low. The, 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 the frequency of dolphin uh, sonar mm -hmm. is 150 uh, kilohertz. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and it can penetrate uh, uh, through the, the mm -hmm. rubber and it goes, it can penetrate through. Mm -hmm. It's not like the uh, uh, ultrasound of the uh, well, medical, the machine, it's the five me uh, 500 kilohertz yeah. up to yeah. 2 megahertz. Yeah. That the penetration is yeah. very, <laughs> very, very yeah. small. Yeah. But the dolphin, uh, he can, he really, it's like Röntgen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think, yeah, I, yeah. I, 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 like my opinion. I heard that, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yes, yeah, so they see the blood circulation, they see density, yeah, everything. Everything, everything. They yeah. see also pregnancy. And that's uh, why I think maybe yeah. with the child, uh, with the with the child that uh, have the problems, I think they can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, of course. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, going further, it would be very interesting if two different dolphins have the same behavior to the same person. I don't think so because they are individuals. They are individuals. They're persons, you know. Yeah. So they and they each uh, of them is each character. You say that, uh, that uh, they have two different uh, diagnoses. Then. No, no, no. Uh, uh, look, uh, for example, the, the what we call the preference behavior. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, uh, und zwar this uh, sympathy of ersten Blick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's uh, sympathy, uh, sympathy on the first. So meeting. Yeah. So it's a very uh, uh, established concept amongst dolphins. Mm -hmm. So uh, come see and love you, or come see and hate you, or come see and uh, ignore yeah. you, or or you are fine as long as I get fish. Uh, yeah. You can see all 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 uh, different options. A dolphin, you put the client into the pool, and after immediately in the same second. You, no. uh, the dolphin makes a judgment, mm -hmm. and then you will deal with this judgment all the time as long as you work in this pool with this client, with this dolphin. Yeah, it's uh, and we call this the preference behavior. That was also part of this study. And not all dolphins, it's depending on their personality, have the uh, same strong preference behavior. Some dolphins have a very strong uh, preference behavior. It can be so strong that when they, uh, when they um, uh, don't like a person, when they, um, uh, they uh, would not even work with this person uh, with uh, food reward. Um, and when they love a person, they would uh, work with this person without food reward. Or they would even go so far that they would try to separate the therapist from the client. Yeah? So it's, if you have an animal like this, it is very difficult to work with this animal. It's very interesting for yeah. science, yeah. but it is very difficult in the workflow. Yeah? Um, on the other hand, when you have a very so good mutides tier, a very, uh, I don't know the English word, a very uh, Relaxed and very, very, you know, it's, he's fine with everybody. Lovely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 As, uh, one of our two dolphins in Antalya, he is very much like this. He's not only because he's old, but uh, he is very relaxed and uh, he can accept a lot of uh, different behaviors mm -hmm. of clients and, and also uh, he accepts a lot of different personalities of people. And uh, it's very rare that he refuses to work with somebody, he just he dislikes somebody. But also he's not so obvious than when he likes somebody. His behavior does not change so much from one client to another. So, yeah, I mean, uh, for the trainers, of course, yeah. I mean, uh, you, it's, it's a balance. Huh? 
uh, on the one hand, you want to we want a variety of behaviors of the dolphin. On the other hand, of course, we must also limit uh, the behaviors because if a dolphin is uh, not uh, um, tamed uh, and his behavior is completely outrageous, no? so he can be very aggressive or yeah. something he don't like. And it's a safety it's it's a safety issue. Yeah. No? Uh, I had this in, uh, in Yalta, actually with this study, with this dolphin that we studied in this uh, behavioral study, where we proved the specific behavior, we, we took an animal which was very extreme and very expressive. But she sometimes would really uh, create a, uh, a dangerous situation, yeah, sometimes as a client really she don't like. Yeah. Or she would create a dangerous situation with a client which she super liked because she would try to separate the, tra the, the therapist from the client. And you know better than we know better because we don't have all the days like the same, okay? Mm -hmm. the yeah. The same. In this moment they can be very thrilled mm -hmm. and the, the next moment, whoa, they don't yeah. I don't want you there. Yes. Go, go, go from there. Yeah, like back that. off. Like yeah. that. So it's uh, I don't know. You cannot read it. And you and, and we must also learn the dolphins' behavior and the dolphins. Uh, some things the dolphins. Some dolphin has not a problem with another dolphin. He hates it. For yes, example, yes, yes. in in Antalya, um, uh, one uh, the Misha, yeah, he hates any fast hand movements. So yes, yes. when and even if it's the kid the client ha, 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 and then he goes like you know you can you really like a dog you can feel he he must hold push it himself together because he hates it so much mm -hmm. and he, he, he kind of stays like this at the platform and he looks at the trainer and he's you see him it, it annoys him yeah <laughs> so we go, when we have this kind of no, clients yes, we go to the other dolphin we go to Suera mm -hmm. because Suera he's not to have it's no problem you can wave your hands in front of my eyes it's no problem it's fine I don't care no, but, uh, yeah. you can make a decision <coughs> with three kids for example and give nothing to the dolphin for example yeah. okay he do it with pleasure and okay yeah. give, give him toys other dolphins prefer yeah. the food other dolphins I don't know they have Preferences they have, yeah. they have bad mood, yeah. like us. They yes. have, they have feelings. So. Yes, they have feelings. So that's that makes them uh, such great and exciting partners to work with. Yeah. So this. Uh, yes. Uh, Actually, we are already in the in the. I just finish up and then we make a break. Okay, we are already in the lunch break time. Um, last year, uh, we start. I started a, a study together uh, with uh, Professor uh, Maric uh, from Novi Sad. He is a stem cell medicine uh, um, <coughs> scientist, uh, <coughs> and. Um, Stem cell, Stammzellen Medizin. Yeah, um, stem cell medicine is a very promising um, future uh, type of medicine. It's in the still in the beginnings, and um, but it starts to be established uh, uh, also in uh, the uh, sphere of uh, the clients that we are treating. Um, these are um, cerebral palsy, but also uh, um, autism, um, uh, as well as uh, spinal cord injuries. Um, this, yeah, um, there are several applications, and uh, what they are doing is that they take. Uh, um, they are not working with embryonal stem cells or with plumbal stem cells. They work with uh, stem cells that uh, they take from the client, uh, mm -hmm. from the patient. Uh, they uh, take uh, they ex take a bone matter, so knochenmark, uh, from the legs, bones, and uh, this will. Uh, the, the, there are a lot of uh, stem cells in the bone matter. Um, and uh, 
which are use which are usable for um, um, this kind of um, uh, treatment. So what they do is they take this uh, bone matter, they extract the stem cells, and they um, combine the stem cells with um, special proteins. This is a science. What kind of proteins to combine with? Which are let's say the navigation system of the of the stem cell. The, 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 the aim is to direct the stem cells to the place where we need them so that they can settle there and they develop uh, this type of cell of the target place and they um, uh, understand their function and they contribute uh, to, the, to, to the function of this uh, target area. So that's the big science of, uh, of, of Professor Maric, yeah, especially to study and create and, 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 and develop new uh, peptides and new proteins and new carrier um, um, substances uh, to uh, direct the, the, the stem cells to yeah. the specific places where we need them. So um, uh, this uh, is working now better and better. And um, why is this? Uh, what, has, what has this to do with dolphin therapy? It ha dolphin therapy can be helpful as a complementary, as a, as, a, as, a, as a activation therapy for the stem cells. So what happens is when they uh, do the stem cell transfer, and the stem cell, for example, we talk, for example, now about a cerebral palsy patient, yeah. So the stem cells, they go into the brain and they will settle down in uh, areas where there are scars mm -hmm. uh, or where is a mass of glia cells because of the damage, of the yeah. brain damage. So the glia cells and scar mm -hmm. tissue uh, from the long time ago when it happened, uh, the hypoxia, there is scar tissue and the scar tissue um, because is very dense Mm -hmm. And the scar tissue is guilty mm -hmm. that the, 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 the nerve uh, development of it is a, actually a healthy brain, but the development of the nerves could not take place in a normal way because the nerves could not penetrate the scar tissue in this place. And, uh, and the glia cells. Mm -hmm. So glia cells are blocking the way. And um, the technology is to bring the, the, the cells into this place and maybe if there is one dendrite um, left over from 100 that's still working, one. yeah, then it's possible to activate this one and create new ones around this one. Because when the functionality is lost, it doesn't mean that all the cells are gone. No, no, no. Uh, it's, it, it just means that a lot of dendrites are, are gone. And uh, it's still possible that there are some dendrites are left Work is still fu left functional, but uh, it's not enough to restart. Uh, restart, yeah. So why? So they're trying to get the cells into the place, but that's not enough to get the cell into the place. That is the the, the new cell understands. Okay, I have to become a dendrite. It needs stimulation, so the dendrite yeah, has so to fire, uh, so that the, the stem cell turns into a dendrite and that's why uh, we got together and we tried to put the client after the stem cell uh, transfer into the pool with the dolphins the and give them the 10 yeah. days like really intense dolphin therapy stimulation, stimulation. Yeah. and also with a lot of ultrasound we can get to this later because we have with ultrasound of the dolphin we have several effects it's a mechanical effects on the membranes we have also electro uh, piezoelectric effect on the on the on the synapses so we, we the dolphin's ultrasound can stimulate mechanically also because it is necessary that the, the stem cells start to communicate with each other and also communicate with the existing cells and so on. And the result was amazing. We did the case study and uh, the result of the therapy was much stronger than of stem cell only or of dolphin therapy only. Mm -hmm. So it, this is a very promising uh, um, 
a very promising new combination. Uh, and uh, we are in the very beginning of this, but we are very excited. And Professor Maric is also he is totally uh, convinced about uh, the uh, multi multiplication of the effect by combining these two uh, treatments, uh, because there is he himself. He, okay. They combine the, uh, with physiotherapy and they do all that kind of stuff. But he said this is this is nothing in comparison to dolphin it's therapy. Logic. Dolphin therapy is so strong in this moment. Mm -hmm. So uh, we are. Uh, this is in uh, the article is, is uh, now finished and is uh, submitted, um, so, and um, we are planning. Um, sometime soon, if possible, uh, to do uh, maybe 10 or 15 patients. So uh, 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 as a series, a series, as a study for mm -hmm. more clients, not just one. Mm -hmm. So to see if this effect if it will, will work uh, generally or if it was just this one time uh, mm -hmm. success. So this we plan soon and um, we wait, uh, there will be maybe a call uh, for a paper in uh, the European Union. There's a, a science, uh, um, between Ser science fund uh, from the European Union, between Serbia and the <coughs> European Union. We can do this maybe in Romania also, um, to, um, to proceed with this research. Uh, 